Item number SCP-1033, Object Class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-1033 is to be held in a 15 meter by 5 meter standard cell, lined with 5 meter thick lead plating. Personnel entering SCP-1033's chamber must wear approval level A hazmat suits. If SCP-1033's routine changes, or if SCP-1033 attempts to escape, the two guards stationed outside SCP-1033's chamber are to be reinforced with eight more, all armed with containment kit 4MK3, consisting of a Scar L assault rifle with underbarrel net launcher, two flashbang grenades, and one M67 fragmentation grenade. Description SCP-1033 is a middle-aged Caucasian male, approximately 193 centimeters or 6 feet and 4 inches tall. SCP-1033 was discovered in New York, having, according to several witnesses, materialized in the middle of the road. Interviews with witnesses found that people in the area experienced a vision-encompassing white flash, accompanied by having a two-second burst of static from all directions. Witnesses are administered a Class A amnestic after completion of the interview, followed by a media blackout regarding the incident. Upon initial inspection at the site of materialization, Foundation researchers found that SCP-1033 was emitting well over the instantaneous lethal dose rate limit of high energy gamma, neutron, and X radiation at approximately 15,000 feet per hour. SCP-1033 was initially contained within a shipping container surrounded by lead bricks, which was placed in his path. SCP-1033 was subsequently moved to storage site k Beep, where he now resides. In all physical aspects, SCP-1033 is an unremarkable, balding, middle-aged man. He is dressed in a business suit and carrying a briefcase. SCP-1033's behavior is cyclic, with each cycle beginning approximately every 33 seconds. The following timeline is a transcription of that routine. 0 to 10 seconds. SCP-1033 walks 30 paces forward, glancing at his watch approximately every 10 steps. 10 to 15 seconds. SCP-1033 stops, kneels, and opens his briefcase. Inside the briefcase is a single envelope marked with an unknown seal and a prepaid Beep brand mobile phone, capable of sending and receiving text messages and calls. SCP-1033 opens the envelope and pulls out a sheet of paper marked with the words Cable Asymmetric Cipher 0UUT5LM0022 Let's ruffle feathers. 15 to 21 seconds, SCP types 0UUT5LM0022 and a text message to the Australian mobile phone number 0404 beep. Investigation shows that this number has yet to be assigned to any mobile phone. At 21 seconds, SCP-1033 sends the message, puts the phone and the other back in his briefcase. 21 to 28 seconds. SCP-1033 is observed looking to the distance, regardless of what is exactly in front of him. At 25 seconds in, SCP-1033 starts to chuckle quietly, having apparently spotted what he was looking for on the horizon. 28 to 33 seconds. At 28 seconds, SCP-1033 is thrown backwards 3 meters and observed writhing on the ground, screaming in apparent agony. Flesh is seen being stripped off and flying behind SCP-1033 as other parts of them disintegrate. The injuries SCP-1033 sustains correspond to that of a victim of a 1.5 megaton nuclear device being detonated in close proximity. After completion of this routine, SCP-1033 immediately reappears at the start of his routine in mid-step and begins to cycle again. If an object, human or animal, stands in the path of SCP-1033, he will make no attempt to stop and will continue his cycle, pushing whatever obstacle in his way along with him.